So you want to have sex but not make a baby? Well, here's how not to do that. Peeing after sex is not an effective form of birth control. The urine exits a different hole than the sperm enters. Douching after sex is not an effective form of birth control. The force of douche being inserted into your vaginal canal can actually propel those sperm toward your eggs. <laughs> and that's what we in the business like to call a douche baby. Let's do a little condom math. One condom plus one condom does not equal twice the protection. It's only doubling your chances of those condoms rubbing together and breaking, leading to what we in the business like to call a douche baby. No, that's a different thing. Now this one is a big O oh, myth. Orgasms are not required to get pregnant. Although that's kind of sweet to think that in order for a woman to get pregnant she needs to climax. In fact, <laughs> she doesn't have to at all. She can just get pregnant. Even though having vaginal intercourse the first time might not be the best sex you'll ever have in the world, you can get pregnant. Now on to everyone's favorite conversation topic. Menstruation. You can, in fact, get pregnant from period sex. Ovulation and your period can be timed so that if you've had sex on your period and sperm lives inside your reproductive canal for up to five days, that sperm and that egg, oh, they can go, oh, hey, how, how's it going? What's up? Let's fertilize. Oh, my God. Let's make a fetus. And that's the magic of pregnancy. Speaking of menstruation, even if a girl has never had her period, it's still possible for her to get pregnant. For some girls, they will ovulate before their first period. So if they have sex during that ovulation, they can get pregnant. And since they haven't had a period and then won't have a period because they're pregnant, it'll probably take longer for that pregnancy to be detected. Some women are hesitant to use certain forms of birth control because of misconceptions about them. IUDs do not cause miscarriages. The way that IUDs or intrauterine devices prevent pregnancy from happening is by either killing the sperm, which is what copper IUDs do, or by blocking the sperm from entering the uterus, which is what hormonal IUDs do. They do not, and I repeat, do not, induce miscarriage. When it comes to the morning after pill or emergency contraception, a lot of people get this confused with a medicated abortion and they are not the same things. The way the morning after pill works is that it kills whatever sperm is remaining inside of you, which is why you're supposed to use emergency contraceptive up to five days after unprotected sex or if you have an incident where you suspect that ejaculate has gotten inside of you. Hence, it is a contraceptive and not an abortifacient. For the same reason that I beat the drum about the importance of sexual consent, I wanted to debunk these myths not to make sex scary, but to make it more enjoyable. So that while it's happening, you can devote more of your brain space to, ah, sex, and less of it to, OMG, pregnancy. Educate yourself. Be fun, have safe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> This is what sex looks like, people. It only twices, <laughs> nine months later, <laughs> they do not, and I repeat, do not, <laughs> miss busted, busted, busted. <laughs> sex, baby, talk about you and me, talk about dancing in the club. Oh, this is not an effective form of birth control, although it is an effective form of getting people to not <laughs> want to have sex with you, probably. Same with this. Oh. You wanna do it? No? Okay. You wanna do it? No? Okay. See? Consent. 